Hey y'all, I'm Justina, the Gorgeous Oracle, and I'm back with another reading. This is for Aquarius mid-June 2021. Before I get into the reading, can you please like, share, and subscribe to my channel? Uh, can you follow me on Instagram at I am underscore Justina Nicole? And if my readings resonate with your situation, can you feel free to donate to my channel? Everything will be down in the description box down below the video. So Aquarius, um, for some reason, I just feel so happy. <laughs> it's like the energy I'm feeling right now, this reading, just looking at the cards, it, it uplifted me. But let me tell y'all what I have. I have the Three of Swords in reverse. I have the Ace of Wands. I have the Temperance in reverse. I have the Empress. Oh, and look how beautiful this card is. Oh, Aquarius. And I have Justice. I have, uh, for the additional messages, I have Addiction. I have Cupid's Arrow. I have... I like you. Oh, somebody likes you. And I have abundance. And the overall message I have for Aquarius is priorities. So Aquarius, what I have out here, I have... I got pretty much everybody. It's just if it resonates with your situation... Yeah, I got fire. So, Aquarius, you could be dealing with a fire sign, another air sign. Yeah, I got everybody. So, Aquarius, um, like I said, I, I, I relate to this reading. For some reason, this reading, it's like my energy just uplifted somehow, but... Aquarius, it's like in the past you came out of a heartbroken situation, a um a third party situation, and I feel like now you leaving the past behind you. I feel that you're not stuck in this third party situation, or you're not letting it hinder you, or you're not letting this um situation just affect you in any type of way at all. It's like you came out of that energy. It's like you bounced back from a heartbreak, a disappointment. And I feel that since you bounced back from this heartbreak, disappointment, whatever this person did, it could have been another, um, it could have been another air sign. But like I said, I got everybody out here. It's like this situation molded you to like take action into like doing things for yourself bettering yourself um starting new projects starting a new job just starting to do things that you have never done before it's like you need it in so many ways we look at situations as a loss but what i'm getting aquarius i'm getting that you needed this situation you needed this the misfortunate, disappointing situation to motivate you. And I feel like by you experiencing this heartbreak, this loss, it's like you turned your pain into power. And by you turning your pain into power, it gave you ideas. It gave you, like, things, ideas. It's like it's sparked up your creativity. You getting creative. You just doing all types of great things with yourself. Yes, yeah, like you turned your pain into power. And I feel like by you turning your pain into power, 
the person that put you in this third party situation or the person that hurt you, they are unfocused. They are off balance. They can't think straight. They stagnant. It's like... I'm getting this was their karma. and Because I have the justice card here too. I feel like this person that put you in this third party situation. I feel like in the past they were on top. And now Aquarius... Since you came out of that energy and now you bossing the fuck up and like just being a bad bitch or you just being a boss ass nigga, it's this person is suffering because of that. And they suffering to where their appearance is changing. They clothes dirty, they not even dressing up anymore. They just look a hot ass mess. It's like, Aquarius, you the empress. And then if you're a male watching this and you know you went through a heartbreak or whatever, you can be the empress too. Just think it, think of it like you the emperor. The empress and the emperor to me is the same thing. However, what I'm saying is your person look a hot ass mess. The car came out in reverse. So on top of them looking a hot ass mess and on top of um they wearing dirty clothes, not shaving, not taking a bath, not brushing their teeth, they off balance, can't think straight. You stepping into your power, you look like a bad bitch, a beautiful bitch, a handsome male, um, a boss male, somebody that's handling their business. And this person, look, your person that did some fucked up shit to you, they looking like this while you looking like this. It's like you on top now. At first, this person was on top, but look how the tables turn. And I feel like this was their justice. Justice is being served. This person could have talked, even though this was somebody you was dealing with, they could have talked, made fun of how you looked. They could have said some nasty things about the way you look, the way you talk, the way you walk. You know, they could have just been just criticizing you and um, downplaying you, belitt belittling you, making you feel bad about yourself. And now, since the tables turned, because the justice card out here, you looking like this while the person that did some whole ass shit to you looking like this. And then I have addiction, codependent, obsession, possession, controlling, has a block, restraint. So I feel like this was your person. I feel like um, in the past... You could have been codependent on this person. You could have been seeking validation, seeking approval from this bum. And this person could have been controlling you and all types of stuff. But it's like you broke out. You came out of that situation. You start bettering yourself. You bossed the fuck up. While this person look a hot ass mess. Because it was time for their justice. It was time for karma to come back and, and bite them in the ass. It's say abundance. Keeping a positive mindset. Manifest exactly what you want. Gratitude, bliss, Aquarius. I feel like that is you. You are so much abundant. It's like you on top now. Sitting on top of the world. Cupid's arrow. Have faith, love is coming, surprise, invitation, or meeting, hesitation. So I'm getting two things, Aquarius. I feel like since people seeing you transform into this empress or emperor,
you have suitors, you have people that wants to date you, you got people that's eyeing you, you have people that find you attractive, and this past person, it's like they eyeing you too. It's like they want to come for this dirty ass person. It's like they want to come forward, but they hesitating because they know they put you through some some things in the past. Someone likes you, romance is blooming. So I feel like it's this person, the person that put you in this third party situation, even though you came out of it on top. I feel like this person likes you. And then, um, I feel like it's another person. People want to date you since they see you um, transforming. However, spirit wants you to know that your life is getting ready to change or it's been changing. And abundance is here and more abundance is coming to you. And spirit wants you to know that don't get um, unfocused or don't get off the right track. Like, still continue to pursue everything that you say you're going to do. Still continue to pursue it. But once these people come in, like, don't get distracted. Still make sure to take care of your priorities. Because at the end of the day, these could be people you know. So at the end of the day, these people was not fucking with you, Aquarius, until you transformed. So with that being said, it's kind of like back then you didn't want me. Now I'm hot, you all on me. And I feel like spirit just wants you to focus, pay attention, and still stay on the right track. And don't let these people... Especially the ones that always knew you or knew of you. Um, it's like now they want to come forward, but they had plenty of time to say something to you. But it's like now since they seen you bossing up or whatever, now they want to talk to you. Don't get off track. And that's all I have for this video. Thank you. Bye-bye.